In this video, we will talk about the basic bistable element. All the flip-flops and latches consist of this bistable element. The bistable element consists of two cross-coupled knot gates. Let's draw it. This is the first knot gate and this is the second knot gate. I said these are cross-coupled. That means the output of this knot gate is connected to the input of this knot gate. The same with this also. The output of this knot gate is connected to the input of this knot gate. And these have outputs called Q and Q bar. These are called the states. As the name suggests, bistable, that means this element is always in one of the two states called 0 or 1. It will always be in one of these two states, 0 or 1. For time being, say this is x and this is y. Say x is equal to 0 and I get 1 here. This 1 serves as the input to this NOT gate. So I get 1 here and I get 0 here. Now Q is said to be in one state. When we feed the other input, say x is equal to 1. I get 0 here. This serves as the input to this NOT gate. I get 0 here and I get 1 here. Now Q is said to be in 0 state. Though the bistable element is in one of its two states, 0 or 1, but sometimes it gets into a third state called metastable state. It is the state when the outputs are halfway to logic 0 and logic 1. This, this metastable state is of no use for us. So this metastable state has to be avoided. This bistable element doesn't have any inputs, but all the flip-flops and latches which consist of this bistable element do have inputs. And those flip-flops and latches are basically used to store either 0 or 1. In the videos to come, we will see how flip-flops and latches make use of this bistable element to store 0 and 1.